Hi, this is Shadi and today we have a technical breakdown between two legendary arts, judo and catch wrestling. I've been meaning to do this video for a while but since being so many techniques that are in common, I didn't know, I didn't want to just show like, hey, they share these techniques, but rather show how different and radical the approach can be to the same technique and I found it. I'm not gonna go through many techniques this video only needs just one technique to show the difference between the two. That's right, just one. And one of my good friend, uh, a catch wrestler, sent me the technique or the videos that I needed in order to see the clear difference between the two. Now, before I start, um, this is just for demonstration purposes, especially the catch wrestling part. Uh, do not attempt this while rolling with your friends because you can easily injure even maim someone uh, simply by doing this even if you don't intend to uh, it's called gentle way and gentle art judo and jujitsu and now after seeing this i was 100 percent convinced that they are truly gentle and we're gonna see why and also we're gonna learn the concepts of compound submission uh, hooks and submission holds these are uh, definitions that uh, I'm gonna go through in this video as we go along and like I said all I need is just one technique to show the radical difference between the catch approach and the judo approach and that technique is none other than the ude garami ude garami is a shoulder lock that can be done from multiple angles um, you can call it americana in BJJ uh, just for those who don't know so here you grab your wrists you pin them down and you lift the elbow putting pressure and isolating the shoulder uh, and putting pressure progressively until they tap out uh, ude means elbow and garami means uh, to fold or like uh, fold but not in a pleasant way uh, there is many different ways you can do this you can uh, bring your wrists together and you can curl them up which would require a bit more strength kind of like uh, how chu jutsu do it chewy from chu jutsu uh here you can see it's gonna be done reversed uh, what we call the kimura you curl uh, the elbow all the way up and then you lift your own elbow and you create tension on the shoulder which will they immediately tap and this will only target uh, the shoulder. We're gonna see how a bit different it's gonna be in catch. Uh, it is nonetheless a very effective submission. Uh, here you can see if they straighten out their arm, they don't want to curl it. You can still apply the pressure, the ude garami on the elbow because like I said, uh, folding of the elbow, so you're targeting the elbow, but, you, but it either targets the shoulder or the elbow uh, depending on if they are giving you their arms stretch out or curled. So here you can see you do the same mechanics. You hold the wrist and you just lift your own elbow and you get the tap. You either target, like I said, isolating only the elbow or the shoulder. Here you can see from half guard, you can do it. Uh, if someone's trying to uh, pass your guard in order to get into Osaikomi, you can do it also. Here, let's see again. Uh, you can also do it uh, like the uh, Ude Garami we saw the first one where the palm is facing forward, not like the Kimura. Uh, it's, so it's kind of like a Americana but from a half guard. Notice how the leg is uh, pinning the leg of the, of the Uke. Uh, here you can see you lift and you curl and curl your own elbow in order to get the submission. You can go watch it, uh, just try it judo kansetsu waza you will get all the submissions here someone else is trying to pass your guard you can do it with the arm stretched out as we saw being done from side control let's see it again okay so here it's like an americana but from half guard here you can do it standing up and go into kimura same you wrap the arm you go down you wrap and here you get your foot across and uh, your knee on the other side to get uh, as much leverage as possible similar to what kimura did against helio here you can do like an osoto gari takedown and into americana let's see again or osoto otoshi 
Now, let's get to the catch wrestling. And please, like I said, this is by Tony Ketchin. Please do not attempt this because this is taking Ude Garami to like a whole new level. Uh, again, you can easily injure someone without even intending to do it. So Tony Ketchin explains that uh, compound submission is where you target multiple joints. So here, the first difference you see is you have the wrist uh, turned and the palm facing the ground, which will immediately create torsion and far more leverage on the shoulder when you are about to target it. So again, please, this is very dangerous. So in the, the Ude Garami, the Japanese one, you see the palm is facing up, but here you curl the wrist uh, towards them or towards you because you're in side control until the palm is facing down. And uh, now we'll see again uh, another detail how uh, with the elbow, you don't lift it just straight up, but rather you bring it also towards you digging into their rib cage. But here he's explaining that you turn the wrist down. First of all, it's uh, far more uh, efficient as a pin and also you will create a lot more torsion and also uh, you will create pain in multiple areas such as the wrist, the elbow and also the shoulder. So it's called compound because like the bench press, for example, you target the chest, the uh, shoulders and the triceps. But for example, like the flies, you only target the chest. So here he's explaining that you lift kind of like digging your elbow into their rib cage. Uh, and that's how you create the submission. Again, it is far more uh, painful than your regular Ude Garami. Uh, here he's explaining the uh, the hook. So some submission hold is the submission where you progressively apply uh, tension until they tap out. But a hook, he, it's what he calls it, kind of like a knockout punch. You just rip out the arm. Here he's explaining it. He just look away uh, like a 90 degree angle and just uh, pulls his own elbow. It will immediately rip out the arm. There's no tapping in this. Again, please, this is just for demonstration purposes. And you can see the different approach for the same technique, how just more painful. Here, let's see Hickson doing it. Uh, Hickson uh, leaves the palm up, very Japanese also, and just lifts the elbow. He, he says like brush the mat, bring it towards you, and then just lift the elbow. He doesn't say curl the wrists like Chewy. Uh, like I said, there's many ways you can do this, but uh, the one that requires far less strength is uh, this one where you just pin your elbows and one is lifted up. Uh, the one that's curling the elbow of UK and thus uh, is creating submission on the shoulders only. Uh, it's not like the compound as uh, Tony uh, is doing it. He says it is superior. Uh, in terms of effect, in terms of pain, I agree. In terms of sadism, also yes. But uh, yes, uh, when it comes to inflicting the most damage, yes, the catch wrestling version is far more uh, efficient. But this is not the goal. Uh, I'll explain this later on. So here he's saying that if someone is not does not want to curl their arm, you do very similar like the Ude Garami we saw the Japanese do it. You just apply the same principle. Just lift the elbow, but this time you are applying pressure on the elbow rather than the shoulder. Uh, so again, very Japanese. Keep in mind, he learned from Helio and also he's a George Medi black belt in Judo. I'm talking about Hickson. So uh, you can see uh, the Japanese Judo or Kodokan Judo principles applied by Hickson in his uh, Invisible Jiu Jitsu. You can find this uh, in the self-defense unit. Thumbs up from the big man. Uh, here, let's see the standing variation. Here, he does something rather completely different. Again, a twist in the wrist. Uh, he doesn't do like your Kimura, but rather here he, sta he stays standing and just uh, attacks again a, so a compound submission and attacks multiple parts. Here, you attack the elbow rather than the shoulder, and also it can inflict uh, damage to the shoulder, but here, like. He just curls in and straight. He's, he's saying here, do not go back kind of like attacking the Kimura, but here rather you twist the wrist and you curl towards you in front of you uh, and you snap the elbow and the wrist as well. Like I mentioned, compound submission here. You curl the wrist towards you in front of you and it will just immediately uh, attack 
the elbow and the wrist again please this is incredibly dangerous he's demonstrating it on a stick uh, you curl your wrists uh, so this is what uh, Chewie was doing uh, in the Uday Garami where he curls his own wrists but on the ground it's a bit different you need far more strength rather than just lifting the elbow like I mentioned so here bam and same thing with the elbow it's gonna snap it and also you're twisting the wrist which will also do damage on the wrist uh, you bring it down you kind of like brush it down and extend and will create breaking of the arm again this is for demonstration purposes only you can either do the wrist or the elbow uh, so this is the fundamental difference so you, when you see these memes like uh, judo gentle way my ass or jujitsu yeah right the gentle art uh, believe them because it truly is gentle compared to how catch uh, tries to apply uh, a submission you have the concept of the hook where you just rip out everything and you have the concept of the submission hold and it's compound you attack multiple things uh, it's far more dangerous but like i said uh, the point is not to injure or maim someone i'm talking about self-defense the goal is everyone to go home safe uh, if i would do this it would be if my life depended on it no, nothing else i would never do this in rolling i would never do this in competition again this is very dangerous yes it is superior when it comes to damage but that's not the point the point is to have someone forfeit the fight you can apply subtle progressive pressure on the shoulder or the elbow if it's their arm ex is extended but it's not just to rip it out unless like i said someone is breaking into your house or you know your your wife or your child's life is at stake or your husband's life is at stake but other than that there's no reason to do it uh, the way uh, catch is being done or they are doing it again please be safe uh, especially with your friends when you're rolling i hope you enjoyed this breakdown uh, if i s left anything uh, or said something that's inaccurate when it comes to wrestling leave it down below if you are a wrestler uh, i would uh, love it if you cleared it up uh, also i would i would like to ask the wrestlers that is there the same principles of compound and also a hook and submission for other stuff like the uh, ankle locks or the arm bars let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening